Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm pretty good, thank you. I'm happy to see you. Okay, yes, I see about half of the class. Um, the other half are still okay. Yeah, we see. Empezamos a ver más. Okay, all right, guys. Welcome to today's class. We will start the class um by taking attendance. By the way, welcome to the the last day of the class of this course. So we made it. We made it to the end. Yay! Okay, so let's start with uh, the first one, uh, Ana Isela Janis. Present teacher. Oh, excellent. Ana Ruth Perez Leiva. Ana Ruth Perez. Oh, okay. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Flores. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Okay. Diana Cristabel Meléndez. Diana Cristabel Meléndez. Eh, Gerardo José Tepas. I'm here. All right, wonderful. Welcome. José Mauricio Martínez. Present. Wonderful. Juana Margarita Sea. Juana Margarita Sea. Uh, Catherine Zuleima Poca Sangre. Repeat. Catherine Zuleima Poca Sangre. No. Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present. Excellent. Welcome. Cate Jordana Dos Cruces. Cate Jordana Dos Cruces. Laura Lisa Peña. Presente. Excellent. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Presente. Melissa Cecilia Beltrán. Melissa Cecilia Beltrán. Mirna del Carmen Ruano. Mirna del Carmen Ruano. Oscar Atonel Cruz. Present. Excellent. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present teacher. Ah, wonderful. Okay. Good. Hello, present. Yep. Yeah, I heard you got gotcha. Okay. Salvador Antonio Martinez. Present. Excellent. <clears throat> Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present, teacher. Excellent. Tamara Eugenia Aguilar. Present, teacher. Excellent. Úrsula Adriana Burgos. Ursula Adriana Burgos. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, guys. Um, thank you for uh, being here on time and uh, being able to start our class. Um, okay. Give me one moment. Okay. Uh, by the way, just a reminder that today is the last day of class. 
And that means that um, everything should be finished by tomorrow, like morning. They will be checking to see that you have completed everything and so that they can issue your diploma, okay? So that means that you need to have everything finished um, by, by tonight, okay? Do you think you can do that? Can you finish everything for tonight? Yeah? And, yeah, no, uh, are you guys finished or no? Or you're you're still working on that? In my case, yes, teacher. You're finished? Okay. I finished too. Excellent. I finished. Okay. Is there anybody that's still working on it? On the platform? No? No. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Excellent. So that means everybody's finished the platform. Wow, bravo. Excellent, good for you, good for you. Okay, so we are going to start. Last time we were looking at the present perfect. Do you remember the present perfect? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the present perfect is a structure that is used in the present, but also it's about the past, okay? Why do we say that it's about the past? Because this, whatever happened, happened in the past, okay? So it's also a structure of the past. So today we're going to be comparing the present perfect with the simple past. What is the difference between the present perfect and the, the simple past? Basically, the difference is that we have, for the present perfect, we have, oops, sorry. Okay. So basically, the difference is that for the um, present perfect, we have an infinitive time. What does that mean? What does infinitive time mean? It means that we don't know exactly when it happened. Okay, um, we don't. We don't, or, or not. Maybe we don't. Not that we don't know, but we don't necessarily say when the when it is so for example um i can say i have um i have ridden a horse i've ridden a horse when did you ride the ride, ride the horse we don't know we don't it could have been yesterday it could have been two years ago it could have been 10 years ago it could have been last week the thing is that it's it doesn't have a specific time, a, an, an indefinite time in the past. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah, that makes sense for everybody? Yes. Okay, good. So... For example, you say, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Notice. Give me a moment. So we're using have and eaten. So that's the past participle. Now I have a question for you. What is it? What does this word mean? You say ever. What does that mean? Indefinite time. Yeah. So it means, and at some point in your life, it, it it you're not saying a specific time. You're just saying at some point in your life, like it could be in in the, it could be in the um. 
like two years ago, it could be um, two days ago, it can be two hours ago, or it could be two decades ago. It doesn't really matter. Ever means, ever just simply, simply means at some moment in your life. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. So have you ever, ever eaten Moroccan food? And the answer is going to be short answer. You're going to say, yes, I have. Just give me a moment, guys. There we go. Okay, so um, I'm going to answer it. Yes, I have. And then you can be specific. Right? Yes, I have. And then you can go on to give explanation using the simple past. I ate it once in Paris. Or if it's negative, you can say, no, I haven't. And then um, you can say, I've never eaten it. So we can continue using the simple, the sorry, the present perfect um, to say that you've never done something. Okay. Any questions about that? No, teacher. Okay. Just a moment. Okay. Now, a, again, you say, this is another example. Have you ever had a cur green curry? Um, again, the word ever means at some moment in your life. And you can answer, um, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Okay. And if you say, yes, I have, you can give information. You can give specific information. Um, by saying, for example, I tried it several years ago. Okay. Um, or you say in the negative, no, I haven't. I've never had it. So if you notice with the the verb, sorry, with the sentences in the present perfect, we don't say a specific time. We use words like never, ever, things like that, but we're never very specific. But when we're talking about the simple past, like when you say, yes, I have, I ate it once in Paris, we're being quite specific. When did you when did you have it? Once in Paris. Or um have you ever eaten green curry? Yes, I have. I I tried it several years ago. So you, you have a specific moment or a specific time in mind. Does that make sense?
Does that make sense, everybody? Or do you yes, have teacher. questions? Yes, teacher. It's clear? Okay. All right. Um, in that case, we're going to do an exercise. So here we're going to complete this conversation using the present perfect and the simple past. Okay. Any questions about what you have to do? So sometimes you're, you're going to decide if, if you're going to be using the simple present, sorry, the simple past, sorry, or the present perfect. Okay. Sounds good. We understand the instructions? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, I'm going to send this to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Did you receive it? Receive it? Everybody has it? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, everybody's cameras on, please, so I know that you're there and that you're you're gonna participate. Okay. Uh, Lorena Araceli, are you going to be participating? Okay, good. Tamara, Eugenia, are you going to be participating? I can't, teacher. I'm driving home. Okay. Okay. And Diana, are you going to be able to participate? Yes, you do. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to put you into the breakout rooms starting now. And the first is, have you ever sang, right? Yes. Have you ever sung in a karaoke bar? Um, better be. Yes, I have. I sang in one on my birthday. Ah, sang again. Mm, no. In the, in the first is, do um, you use present perfect? In B, mm -hmm. you use simple pass. Simple pass. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. And the second? I don't remember the past participle of lose, loss. Mm, it's loss. So the uh, answer in the letter A, it can be, have you ever lost something valuable? Yes. 
So we, we say valuable. 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 Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. And the answer is haven't and lost. Okay, no, I haven't, but my brother lost his camera on a trip once. Yes. Okay, uh, number three. Have you ever gotten a traffic ticket? Yes. And the answer? I wrote, yes, I have. Once I got a ticket and had to pay fifty dollars. You agree or do you not agree? Gotta tell her. What happened here? You finished? Yes. No. No. Oh, bueno, algunas. Las últimas. Okay. Um, what? Sería, siempre sería yeah. have, got it. Yes. Have you ever? Uh huh. Sería so. Oh. So, I guess. Sí. No, sería so. Sería con. ¿Cuál en la cuarta? Sin. 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 Yes, y par, par. Sas, S, A, W, y Sas. What do you think? The answer, yes, I have. Uh -huh. I, in, I think. In another, sería being, brother. Con doble E. E, I mean, uh -huh. Have you ever been? Yes. yes. Later for an for an apartment. The answer, no, I haven't, but my sister in. Okay, you guys are finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, we'll return to the main room then.
All right, guys and girls, we're going to check the answers. Okay, next. So we do this one. We start. What's the question? Have you? Mm -hmm. Have you? Ever sung? Sung. Very good. Have you ever sung in a karaoke bar? Sung. Past participle of sing is sung. Okay. Next. Yes, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Very good. Yes, I have. I sung. Mm -hmm. I sung in in on one of my birthdays. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. My mistake. I sang in one on my in one on my birthday. So okay. because we're using simple past. To, okay. give, to give a specific time frames. Okay, when there's a specific time or a specific event, we use simple past. Okay, okay. Okay, next. Mm. Have you ever lost? Have you ever lost Have you lost something valuable? No, I haven't. Good. No, I haven't. Exactly. No, I haven't. But my brother lost he has come around a trip once. Yeah, okay. Lost. Because the past the lose is a is an irregular verb and so the simple past of, of lose and and the the past participle of lose are the same. Okay. Next. Mm -hmm. Next. Have you ever gotten? Good. Have you ever gotten? Past participle of get is gotten, but actually there are two. You past participle of get, it could be gotten or it can also be oh. got. The two forms are correct. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. In the case, in the letter B, in the second uh, uh, answer, um, I don't know if it's correct or not, uh, where it says, but my brother lost, we can put has lost or not. No, because it says here on a trip once. Oh. So we're being very specific. Okay, okay. Okay. If if we just said, but my brother lo has lost his camera. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then it'd be okay, but because it's on a trip once for being specific, at a, okay. a time frame in the past. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Next. Yes, I. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Once I, once I got a ticket and had to pay. Once I got a ticket and had to pay fifty dollars. That's part. Sorry, it's simple pass of get is got. Okay. Next. Have you ever seen a live concert? Have you ever seen? Past principle of C is seen. Have you ever seen a live concert? Yes, I have. 
Excellent. Yes, I have. I. Sandy. Mm. No. Simple past of C. So, 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 so. so. because it says at uh, I I saw you two. I saw you two at the stadium last year. Last year okay. is this very specific, so we're gonna use simple past. Okay. Okay. Next. Have you ever been? Have you ever been late for mm. an important for an appointment? For an important appointment? Have you ever been late? Past participle of B has been. Next. No, I haven't. Haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. My sister was. What? But my sister was. Was good. It was simple past, right? Because we're being specific uh, uh, an occasion. So my sister was 30 minutes late for her wedding. All right. Questions? No, teacher. No questions? No. Okay, perfect. All right, let's uh, stop sharing. And we're going to learn we're going to continue talking about the past, the, the simple, sorry, the, the <laughs> present perfect. We're going to continue talking about it, but we're going to continue talking now about a specific two words that we use for the, um, for the, the, the present perfect. And those two words. are for and since okay so when do you use for and when do you use since how long did you live in thailand how long did you live in thailand i lived there for two years it was wonderful how long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy. So here, notice where it's going to be the same for the questions. So how long did you live in Thailand? Here we're we're asking about what what what's what's the name of the structure? How did you how long did you live in Thailand? What's the name of the structure? How long did you live? What's the name of that structure? did what structure do we use with did or and what's the name of the tiempo viviste? yeah but what's the name of the structure is that the, is that the present perfect no, it's for the past yeah past. it's a simple past exactly how long did you live in thailand simple past so we're going to answer simple past, right? Because we ask in simple past, I'm going to answer simple past. Yeah. And here, how long have you lived in Miami? 
What's the structure? What's the name of this structure? It's for present perfect. Present, present perfect. perfect. So of course I'm going to answer with present perfect. Okay. But I want you to notice though that we also use this word for, for, and since. What does that mean? When do we, when do we use for? When do we use since? Um. Uh, so basically, for we use it for a period of time. Okay. So I'll write that down. Or is a period of time. Okay, a period of time. And so therefore, we can use for to talk about a second. period of time and like for example um i i can hold my breath for 45 seconds right it means i can stop breathing stop breathing for 45 seconds so we can say a period of time you can also use minutes hours days, weeks, months, years, decades. Um, centuries and millennia. Millennia. Okay. Does that make sense for everybody? How are you feeling yes, about this? Does this make sense for you? Yes, teacher. Yeah. So four is a period of time. So for two seconds, for three minutes, for 10 hours, for uh, five days, for 40 weeks, for five months, for um, six years, for five decades, for two centuries, for one millennia. Okay. Now, Science, the word since. Is for a specific past event. So it, we know exactly what the time was. To give you some examples, it can be since I was a child. Specific past event. Since um since two thousand for example, since um two thousand I've been working um, in the same job since 2020. Um, so we are being specific. The past time in 2020. Okay. Or we can say um, since 
uh, you left. Since you left. So a specific event. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah? No questions? Uh, teacher, no questions. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to now stop sharing. Actually, I'm going to clear a better set. Okay, first, let me show you what the exercise is going to be then. It's very simple. You're going to you're going to decide first. What's it, what we're to use for or since? Very simple. It's complete. And then the second part, um, you're going to be working with a partner or with your group that I assigned you with and ask these questions. How long have you had your current hairstyle? How long have you studied at the school? How long have you been, have you known your best friend? How long have you been away uh, been awake today and uh, we can use expressions like is since 6 45 since last weekend since 1997 since elementary school okay or expressions with four we can say it's uh, for two two weeks for a few months for several years for a long time okay So, oh. I'm going to send you the exercise. Okay, I'm sending it to the WhatsApp group. Everybody has it? Yes. Yeah? Okay. All right, excellent. So I'm going to, I, I think I'm going to keep the same groups as before. All right, and remember, ask each other the questions and answer, of course. Okay, so here we go. Open the rooms. Did you finish? Yes. Um, give me a minute, please. Okay. <laughs> and we'll compare, right? Right. Okay, okay. Hello, girls. 
Hello, teacher. Hello. What happened? ¿Qué pasó? Estamos pensando, pensando. ¿Pensando en qué? ¿Y cómo resolverles? Okay, do you understand? Yes, I can. I think the first is thin. Can was in central America. Since a month last year. Yeah, so I, I want you guys to actually discuss it together. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you can ask. Yo no comprendo casi muy bien. What do you not understand, Laura? I think a few months. Okay, so, so Laura. Four is used for a period of time. There's only 10 periods of time that are like really possible. Seconds, minutes, mm -hmm. um, hours, days, weeks, months, um, years, decades, centuries, millennia. So basically 10. There's only 10 that are really positive. Okay? So if you have, or for example, for a long time. So, but it's a, a period of time. It's like in Spanish, por. Por cinco segundos. Por dos años. Right? A period of time. Is that clear, Laura? Yes, sure. Yeah? Okay. And then since, since is a specific time in the past. Since 2010, since I was born, since I was in high school, since, um, since I got married. Yeah? A specific time in the past. Okay. Yes. Does does that help, Laura? Yes, Can I do that? Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, then you can go ahead and continue. Abisirium. Last year. Significa hace, hace un año, entonces creería, sería elementary school, I think. Mm, no. We can, we can use for or sign since mm, complete this sentence. La, la actividad sería que en las oraciones, en el espacio que está, tenemos que poner for o since, dependiendo que corresponde en la oración. Ahí las oraciones que están son, las palabritas que están, son el ejemplo de qué caso se usa. Ya. Sí, ya. Sí, 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 estaba perdida. Ok. Okay. Bye. Ah, pues sería signed. Size with size. En la dos. Sí, hace meses me pasó.
hace un mes el año pasado, sí, ajá, eso me salió. Sería Colpe, Collage, Sture. Uh, with what? I have a collage. I think is with. That second, I think is the four. For, for al menos cuatro años. Ajá, porque se explican de que fue estudiante. Ah, we four. Ajá. And three. Or para. Uh, specific. I think is with. Come with. Yeah. Okay, class. So we're going to check the answers right now. Uh, please tell me if you can see my the screen. Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay, good. So we'll start with the first one. Pam was in Central America. Four. Yes, for a month last year. Notice we, could, we have a month. That's a period of time. So yeah, it's four. For a month, a month last year. Next, I've been a college student. For almost four years. Good, for almost four years. Again, that's a period of time, four years. Okay, that's a period of time. Next, Hiroshi, Hiroshi has been at work. Since. Since. Good, since 6 a.m. So if we have a specific time in the past. I haven't gone to a party. For, 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 for a long time. It's a period of time for a long time. Josh lived in Venezuela for for for, for two years as a kid. Um, again, this is two years. Years is a period of time. Two years. Yeah, it's a period of time. Okay. My parents have been on vacation since since Monday. Since yeah. Monday. Okay, since Monday. So we, we have a specific time in the past. So that's why we're using since. Natalie was engaged to Danny. Four. Four. Good. Four, six months, a period of time. Months, right? So yes, four, six months. Pat and Valerie, and Valeria, sorry, have been best friends. Since. Excellent. Since high school. This is a specific time in the past. All right. Does that make sense, everybody? Do we understand? Yes. Yes. Do you have questions you want to ask? 
No teacher. No. No? Okay, perfect. All right, now, um, let me ask individually, Jose Mauricio, how long have you had your current hairstyle? Oh, I don't remember. For <laughs> several for several years. I... <laughs> for several years. Okay, good. All yeah. right. All right, Sebastiana, how long have you known your best friend? I've known her since uh, high school high school. Good, exactly, since high school. Now, there are two ways you can answer this. You could say, I've known her since high school, or I've known her for, and then you can say the amount of, time, of years, right? So, for example, if high school was five years ago, you can say, I've known her for or five years. So, it's the same, okay? In the same thing, for okay. example, for Jose Mauricio, let's say you said, I have, I've had my current hairstyle for several years. Imagine that you've had it for five years. Okay, so you can say I've had it uh, for five years, or you can also say I've had it since 2018. It's the same thing, because since 2018, it's five years ago. So the two forms are valid. It, it means the same thing okay okay all right how long have you had have you studied at this school hit out of the Jose so at Inglés Corporativo how long have you studied at Inglés Corporativo well I have been in science uh, since January these these years Okay, since January of this year. Okay, good. Or you can also say, I've been studying at, at the school or um, for uh, nine, nine months. Nine for months. nine months, okay. yeah. It's the same thing, right? Because since since January and, and the nine months, the same thing. Okay? And finally... Okay, Great. And finally, Oscar Otonian, how long have you been awake today? I've been awake uh, for 20 hours, I think. 20 hours? Really? 14. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's a long time, Oscar. Okay. All right. I need to let you go so you can go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. All right, guys. So that's going to be all for today. And I'm just going to uh, take attendance for the last time in this course and this day. All right. Ana Isela Dennis? Present teacher. Good. Uh, Ana Ruth Perez? Ana Ruth Perez. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Flores? Carlos Ernest Flores. Diana Crisabel Melendez. Present. Thank you. Jose, uh, sorry, Gerardo Jose Tepas. I'm here. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Jose Mauricio Martinez. Present. Excellent. Uh, Juan, Juana Margarita Sea. Present teacher. Excellent. Eh, Catherine Sulema Poca Sangre. Present. Excellent. Eh, Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present teacher. Okay. Cathy uh, Jordana Dos Cruces. Cathy Jordana Dos Cruces. Laura Lice Peña. Present teacher. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Melissa Cecilia Beltrán. Melissa Cecilia Beltrán. Mina del Carmen Ruano. Present teacher. Oscar Otonel Cruz. 
present. Oscar, sorry, uh, Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Roberto. Salvador Antonio Martínez. Present. Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present, teacher. Tamara Eugenia Aguilar. Present, teacher. And Ursula Adriana Burgos. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Uh, well, we have come to the end of our class. And um, so, solamente recordarles que como es el último día de clase, entonces eh, necesitamos tener toda la plataforma completa para la, el día de mañana a, a primera hora. Entonces, porque van a revisar y, um, y así van a poder uh, otorgarles su, su diploma. Ok. So that's it, guys. Um, it's been a pleasure for me to have you. And I hope you all the best for the next courses to come. Ok. Thank you. So, thank you for your patience. Thanks for everything. <laughs> My thank pleasure. You, all right. Thank you. Bye bye. You're welcome. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Have a good day.